over there. And that's where we are going now. Dinsinan is a Gaelic name for this hill fort. I'm not completely sure what it means. It's obviously been remembered by the, uh, the locals whenever they were making maps of the, the area. Um, whereas the hill right next to it is called Black Hill, which is not a Gaelic name, obviously, it's an English or a Scots name. And I suppose it reflects the fact that by the time the cartographers were making their maps, the people in this area were uh, Scots or English speaking, like they weren't really speaking Gaelic, but they still, they still remember the old Gaelic name for the hill fort. So, presumably, whenever the Victorian cartographers mapped this area and, you know, they marked down the location of Dunsinan, then, you know, people interested in Shakespeare would have come across this and found, oh, this is the same place that's, uh, that's referenced in Macbeth. And so, you know, if you, uh, what we call archae early archaeologists were more or less treasure hunters, they came and uh, plundered the site. They just, uh, they just dug all over the top of the hill for it. Didn't really record what they found in or anything like that. They were just looking for a treasure. And they didn't find anything really, but unfortunately the site is a bit ruined because the, the holes that they dug have sort of disrupted the site. So there's, it's very difficult to date. This looks like ice growing on ice. 